for giving me this opportunity. My is not going to take more than two seconds. Mr. Ministers, uh, just like the rest of my colleagues have extended a way of appreciation for the quality of job and the document for us. And of course, more importantly, the production of the job, the job by the committee that was assigned to carry it out. I have most of the questions and concerns have been exhausted. I have just one particular issue which is so delicate, i.e. Yes, the railway has the right of way and it has the right of way to sue any obstruction, obstruction caused by people living in that area. But in most of the railways passing through the open towns and villages, you see that they are quite naked. Children play, people sit on the, on the railways, and yet the railway has a duty to provide sufficient protection to avoid accidents. Elsewhere in the world, fences are constructed when the rail is passing through the town or through congested areas. In our own area here, Take Oriseka, take Gomsamba, take Kumba, take Duana itself. When you see where railways cross, take you in here, you are wounded. You see that they are naked. I have not seen where they have contemplated the law here, huh? where to build fences to make sure that the inhabitants of that area will not have access, will not be able to cross the way when it is when the rates are needed. What do you think could be done, Mr. Minister? Don't you think that that will be contemplated and enshrined in the present <coughs> those fences? <laughs>